Good morning. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Happy 금요일입니다. Good morning. Thank God it's Friday. 아, 오늘 금요일 운동을 해보도록 하겠습니다, 여러분. 자, Thank God it's Friday. Six pack training. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do 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 six pack training. All right. test okay test. okay good morning so when you train regularly you will be like that Okay. 자 여러분 여러분이 운동을 꾸준히 하면 누구나 다 이렇게 될수 있습니다. So anyone can do like this. Anyone can be like that. Anyone, anyone, anyone can do like that. Yep. Da da di da da la 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 da da di da di da 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 la la. Thank God, it's Friday. 여러분 불금입니다. 불금. 그럼 뭐야? 운동이 아니야. 운동. 자, 불금 운동. Thank God, it's Friday. Let's do this. All right. All right. Thank God it's Friday. 자, 여러분. 제가 열심히 어, 운동을 했더니 그 나야가라 갔다 와서 그 나서가고 있던 팔꿈치 손목이 약간 또 아파요. 그래서 오늘 이 머튼을 안 잡겠습니다. 푸시업 같은 거 하겠습니다. So I had a little bit of a wrist injury from a Niagara fall. Turn to the Niagara for bicycle riding. So I will take it easy today. 자, 오늘은 여러분 컨디션이 안 좋은 날 어떻게 운동하는지를 알려드리도록 하겠습니다. So today's workout. How do you still work out if you don't have a good condition? Today my wrist a little bit hurt and like full body sore. So let's start something easy, okay? 자, 오늘도 운동을 빠지면 안 되죠. 쉽게. 야. 
이렇게 자, 컨디션이 안 좋은 날은 이렇게 운동을 살살 해봅니다. So if you don't have a perfect condition, so you try something, see how your body condition. So I'm gonna write down. 자 여러분, 아, okay. 열심히. So far, my push up is o k a y So let's go. Uh, uh, yesterday I did split squat and my muscle sore. So 어저께 여러분 제가 이 바벨이랑 어그저께 바벨 스쿼트를 했고 어제 바벨로 스플릿 스쿼트를 했더니 다리랑 엉덩이랑 아리 베기고 허리를 아, 허리도 좀 무리가 있어서 오늘 체중을 이용해서 하겠습니다. So today's body weight training. Today's active rest day. 자 오늘 오늘은 여러분 이 active rest day예요. 이게 rest 아닙니다. Rest. So active rest day. Okay, rest. This is how you rest. This is how you rest. Active rest. So when you have sore body, this is how you reduce muscle soreness fast. 자 여러분 근육통이 있으면 이렇게 체중을 이용해서 이거 사실 스트레칭하는 거예요. 이러면 근육통이 더 빨리 회복이 됩니다. 그냥 아무것도 안 하는 게 아니라. 그래서 오늘 자 이것도 네 좋고 푸시업도 좋아요. 턱걸이를 할수 있을지 한번 해보겠습니다. So so far, push up is okay for my wrist, and then split squat okay. So now let's see, chin up. Chin up, 뭘 해도 되는지 한번 보겠습니다, 여러분. When you try to look for looking for some exercises, you can find it. Okay, 자, 여러분 이 이게 열심히 이렇게 찾아보면 할수 있는 운동이 많이 있어요. 좋습니다. Okay, 이렇게 해서 좋습니다, 여러분. 거리를 해보도록 하겠습니다. 거리가 여기 덤벨로만 하면 손 손목이 좀 이렇게 느낌이 있더라고. 오늘은 액티브 레스트 데이. 일단 한번 잡아보겠습니다. 이 느낌 있나? 화살? 아 느낌이 아, 아 손목에 느낌이 있어요. 옆으로 잡아보겠습니다. 옆으로 잡아서 느낌이 있는 거지. 옆으로 잡아서, 아, 옆으로 잡아서 괜찮아. 아, 옆으로 잡아서 하겠습니다. 천천히. 
자, 여러분 즐거운 한 주를 보내셨나요? 아, 오케이. 아. 아. So you guys have had a good weekend week so far? Okay. I got new weightlifting belt. 자, 여러분 새로운 어. 이걸 샀어요. 벨트를 샀습니다, 여러분. Okay, just a little bit of personal development. Just background news. News, news, news. All right. 어? 자, 인터넷이 안 되네. 왜안 되지? 아, 인터넷이 안 됩니다. 하여튼, 자, 다음 세트를 해보도록 하겠습니다. Let's go. Nice and gentle. So, when you train regularly, consistently, anyone can be like that. Okay? Anyone. Like only good genetic, alright? One or two here. So, today is my active rest day, Friday. It's body weight training. Okay? So, listen to your body. And active rest meaning you still move. Okay? Not like completely no move. 자, 여러분. 이 쉬는 날은 이렇게 체중을 이용해서 간단히 이렇게 하는 게 쉬는 날이에요, 여러분. 이 그냥 아무것도 안 하는 게 아니라. Alright. So, so tomorrow I can lift, hopefully lift some weight. Today I lift body weight. 아, 좋습니다. 됐어요. Alright. Okay, so far so good now. The news working internet. 아. 아. 
which in turn will dampen their future earnings. Ba, 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 ba. Set number two, though. Students' progress in math had declined by 3.3%. And when you break down those numbers by income, they're even more dramatic. High-income students are actually doing better than they were before the pandemic, but low-income students have dropped off by more than 10%. Now, in education, they're calling this backtracking the COVID slide. And experts say... 이 돈이 적은 사람이 수학을 좀 못해진다고 얘기를 하더라고요. 공부를 좀. 그러니까 공부 열심히 하라는 거 지금 팬데믹이라 공부 안 하지 말고 열심히 하라고. So far, they said new study. The more you make more money, a little bit makes sense. And we know now that's probably not going to happen. So they are in the process of updating their projections now. But the bottom line here is that the okay. danger for the economy is that if everybody else gets their act together and we don't, the U.S. workforce could lose its competitive edge for decades to come. Huge story, Iman. And the reason why I'm kind of curious about it is because you're a parent, you're a mother. The K-shaped recovery is not just about the economy, but about education as well. How exactly can parents, yourself included, try to narrow that gap to try to get their kids to be competitive again, even with the virus pandemic restrictions? Ah. Well, this is the interesting thing, Dom, is that, um, as I mentioned, you are seeing some high-income kids do better than they were, and that's largely because they have so many supports. They're able to get online. They're having that one-on-one -on -one interaction with their teachers virtually, and they're getting extra support, perhaps from their parents or tutors or other caregivers at home as well. for some of the other students to make up the gap. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
are so good. So my whole body is sore this week. Uh huh. Because I train hard. And race to her. But well, push up is okay. So, 여러분, push up. 어, 괜찮고, 스플릿 스쿼트도 괜찮고, 스쿼트도 괜찮아요. 지금 push up 60개째 해봅니다. 오케이. 쉬는 날 있잖아요. 그러면 이렇게 체중을 이용해서 한번 해보세요. 자, 알았죠? So if you don't want to work out, just move, like just move, like something, okay? Like push-ups, split squat, like yoga, or just do something, okay? 자, 여러분. 운동하기 싫은 날은 그냥 뭔가를 이렇게 해보세요. 저는 운동하기 싫은 게 아니라 지금 손목이 아파요. 아직도 후유증이 있네요. 자전거를 아홉 시간 탔다고 아직도 후유증이 있어요. 그래서 그 다음에 이번 주 운동 열심히 했더니 오랜만에 스쿼트를 했더니 허리에 느낌이 있어서 아직 회복이 안 됐어요. 그래서 어... 이렇게 하는 거예요. 그래서. 뭔가를 하시면 여러분들 반드시 저기 나오는 멋진 몸 만들 수 있습니다. 아, 오케이. 이렇게 다리도 좀 해주고 이러다가 뭐 컨디션이 좋아지면 또 운동을 할 수도 있는 거고 이 모르는 거예요, 여러분. 우리 몸은 정말 대단합니다. So human body is amazing, huh? Amazing. You never know. You never know. 안녕하세요 세연님 선물 받겠다 개근상 받겠어요 세연님 지금 상당히 지금 개근상을 받을 확률이 높아요 자 아, 이렇게 오늘 좋아요 2등 채팅이 1등 오케이 좋습니다 개근상을 받을 확률이 높아요 근데 세연님도 이거 보면서 운동을 하고 있죠? 운동을 좀 하세요. 알았죠? 자, 운동을 좀, 운동을 좀 하시기 바랍니다. 자. 자, 운동을 좀 하시기 바랍니다. 운동을. 자, 네 세트. 퀄리티. 세븐 포인트. 
자 여기 있는 몸처럼 될수 있어요 아니 왜 없나 이거 맨날 방송 보는데 왜 없나 안 없나요? It's 4.2 trillion dollars total right now. It's added. 있는 사람들 사, 대단하죠. 이 사람들. So anyone can be like that. Anyone. Anyone. Go to my website and read their, uh, you know, read their. Uh, www. Geo Fitness Academy. Not as good as some of the other parts of the market overall. Now, those returns percentage wise translate into this in terms of market cap gains. Geo, Geo Fitness Academy. Go to my website and read their uh, testimony. Just around 160 odd billion dollars in market cap. Google Fisher has gained 50 billion dollars. It's currently worth about 180 billion dollars in Abbott Labs. 45 billion dollars in market cap gains overall, which means these three companies have accounted for nearly half of the entire market cap gains in the entire sector so far this year. Well, from the March of the pandemic, the US COVID-19 hospitalizations are up nearly 50% in the last two weeks as the US once again said it was a huge issue. 학교 다시 애들 못 오게 한대요. So New York, so no school so far. And I think usually Canada catching up to uh, Toronto catching up to New York. Good morning again, Doc. You're absolutely right. The European Union can pay more than $10 million for hundreds of millions of doses of Pfizer and CureVax COVID-19 vaccines. Reuters reports that he has agreed to pay $18.34 per dose for Pfizer's candidate, which would mean the lot is paying less per dose than the rest of the initial supply. If these companies divert doses to the U.S. Another COVID-19 news and Eli Lilly arthritis drug has received FDA approval for emergency use with Gilead from Disney. 코비드 만드는 회사 아주 더 백신 만드는 회사 아주 더 많이 벌겠네. Today, President Trump has announced plans to cut Tokoriban, you should be able to do it. The Treasury Department says it will not extend several emergency lending facilities set up by the Federal Reserve in response to the pandemic this past December, past their December 31st expiration date. The move is prompting a rare review from the central bank itself. Which continues to warn of a quote strained and vulnerable U.S. economy. Steve Weisman joins us now with the latest on this big bow. It's like a heavyweight bow. The Treasury Secretary against the Federal Reserve Chair. How exactly will this play out? Yeah, well, what's interesting, Dom, is they worked closely together for much of this crisis. Now the Fed and the Treasury. Publicly, I've never seen this before. Parting ways yesterday. A surprise decision by Treasury Secretary Stephen. 아직까지 푸시아 500개. 확고리는 천천히 해서 자 25개. 자 스플링 스쿼트는 150개 있어요. They used funds from the CARES Act. They will now expire at the end of December. In practice, by the way, they're going to probably close down before that. So that means time to wind them down. 
지금 저는 몸을 열심히 만들고 있어요, 여러분. 오래 열심히 운동 안 해서 어, 근육이 빠지고 살이 좀 쪘었는데 지금 다이어트 중입니다, 다이어트. 복근 보여드려? 약간 있어요. 지금 많이. 그래서 지금 다이어트 하고 있습니다. 한국에 한국에는 그 뭐야 지금 증시가 아, 되게 잘 나간다고 들었는데. 그래서 어제 제 계좌가 사상최 신고가를 돌파했어요. 테슬라 덕분에. 테슬라 덕분에. 
이게 운동하면서 뭔가를 이렇게 And that's telling us, ooh, you know, they, they're really, they're really concerned. Um, so I think it's just what you said. They're gonna, the winners are gonna really win here. 약간 배우지기도 해요. People that have called on the channel superheroes. 그래서 사실 저는 guys like Target. 한 번에 한 가지만 하는 걸 좋아합니다. Because they're customer based. That's why I think it fits in there. 지금은 운동도 하고 영상도 찍고 요구를 하기 때문에 세개다 제대로 하는 건 아니죠. <웃음> 그래도 세개다 33점 맞으면 다 해서 몇 점이고 아니면 한 가지씩 여기 집중하고 여기 집중하고 여기 집중하는 것들이 있습니다. 편한 데 좋았어요. about the future of the US consumer as opposed to some of your peers out there so very very aggressive targets I so usually so like to do one yeah, thing at a time one question I got to tell you like exercise on the year or study just a little bit was how long the pandemic was going to go on like business. and how the spending would keep you know but going over from sometime sometime um, you can do I think what, for fundamental analysts like like we are what we're looking for is company specific drivers And it's been so <sighs> macro, um, and so you know, we're taking the target, uh, which we just upgraded. Ah. A lot of company specific, um, specific issues that they're they're working on that should drive sales. <laughs> well, we don't know. It's challenges we get to next. So not difficult if you do like that. I mean, that's what everyone's doing. Not very difficult. Thirty percent like that. that. You know, how do you do that next year? Yeah. Maybe some of these services are opening up. Yeah, sure. So that's made us a little bit more cautious, but also very focused on companies. You might have to go to the US, but the target is in the US, but it's going to go to the US. That can drive maybe a little bit better as sales next year as they go over some just tremendous numbers in from 2020. Now, now the government stimulus checks that we had earlier this spring into the summer played a large part in that consumer-focused picture right now. How important is a new round of government stimulus, fiscal action by Congress and the incoming administration, or the current one, for that consumer picture going into 2021? Well, I know there's certain companies who would really like it to happen, like Walmart. Uh, they, they're pretty, you know, pretty direct in saying we'd like to see it. I mean, there is a huge challenge here. I mean, with the stimulus checks and the six hundred dollar extra unemployment, so we have some sectors running really hard, ah, especially, especially housing sectors, housing sectors. So, you know, I think stimulus would help um, kind of come over that uh, that big stimulus last year, but I think it's got to be a little bit more measured, in my in my opinion. All right, Scott Mushkin, thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right, to the travel industry now, where airlines say bookings continue to drop ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday week. This after the CDC officially urged Americans not to travel for the holidays amid rising cases of COVID-19. Joining us now with how this holiday season will look different from years past is Brian Kelly. You know him as the Points Guy, founder and CEO of that company. Brian, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We know it's going to be different. How different? It's going to be a lot different. You know, it's a perfect storm of sorts for the airlines because uh, they all pretty much wave change these in order to shore up consumer confidence. And with something as uh, drastic as the CDC guidance that just came out, uh, really hitting people, and I think causing people to take that second look at should I really be traveling? It's, is it my civic duty not to? Uh, we've even seen uh, Delta now is extending their middle seat blocking all the way to uh, March, which is another signal that you know, that consumer confidence just isn't there. So if that consumer confidence just isn't there, how exactly does it play out? Are there opportunities? Uh, Are there places we should stay away from with regard to the entire tra travel industry? How exactly anyone, anyone, tired of one. Customers, you don't get how this is so. What you tell anyone can be like that. Anyone. Anyone. Yeah, okay? yeah, no one can tell you whether you should Nothing travel, special. Or doctor. Just you know, anytime you leave your home, uh, you're taking a risk, right? Consistency, uh, okay? Said, air travel is still very safe, especially if you wear a mask. You don't have to train hard. Uh, airlines have done a lot better Just tra than train others, regularly. Tired of one. Explaining their safety. But there's no one who has to wear your business hard to travel. Do not have this yourself. is a hot spot right now. 제가 증명해 보겠습니다. 제가 지금 뭘 만들고 있어요. So I will show you. Right now I'm doing my own body transformation. So I didn't really train this year. 자, 여러분 올해 저는 운동을 별로 안 했었어요. But yeah, it's a tough outlook for hotels and airlines, especially there's just so much uncertainty. All right, so we know that it's in play right now. Let's put your kind of crystal ball into effect here, Brian. 
As you look out into the travel season, the yeah, the this is current the holiday thing. shopping and travel season. What exactly will be the key themes to watch here? I wonder whether or not there are certain things like Boeing's 737 MAX returning to service, whether there are things like a COVID vaccine that, that either change or modify the outlook for travel overall next year. Yeah, I don't really think the 737 MAX, it's a great time for that to be coming back in service. That's a so very simple, okay? Everybody push, push up, everybody pull, chin up, move body exercise. Outside of the pandemic, Three right? exercises, but remember. If you believe that plane is safe, the <laughs> Same thing, thing like stuck, and when is growth, the stuck, distributed, um, you know, the airline value stock and dividend stock. <laughs> so three stocks can make you richer. So, uh, 자, 여러분들 now, 주식 uh, 주식 세계 성장 주 그다음에 가치주 그다음에 배당주 세계 자라고 좀 벌잖아요. 똑같은 거. 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 자, 음식도 똑같아. 탄수화물 함량 지출 잘 먹으면 yeah, 되는 거죠. 세상 모든 건 거의 비슷한 거 같아요. So you know what? Like, a lot of things match. What part of the travel and leisure hospitality industry? Is it airlines? Is it hotels? Is it the cruise lines? 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 턱걸이가 보이나? Hey, not much. How's it going? Hey, you you wake up this early or you didn't go to bed yet? You didn't go to bed yet or you didn't go to bed yet or you wake up this early? Number one, no surprise you that more trending stories coming up there. But first, as we head out to break, some of your other top stories. Online gaming platform Roblox has filed to go public. It says revenue in its past quarter jumped 91% to $242 million. Roblox's platform has millions of games that can be played across Apple and Google devices, as well as on consoles. Amazon has laid off dozens of staff at its prime air drone project. So uh, today is my active rest day, okay? Active rest day. Active rest. So far, I did 80 push, uh, 160 push ups, and then chin ups and some uh, space work. It's the latest move in a bid to revive bookings and travel demand as the company's active rest. 자, 여러분, 저는 active rest. 저는 active rest. 자, 여러분, 저는 active rest를 하고 있습니다. Active rest. 자, 여러분, 이 active rest. Okay. 아 어야 오케이 와아 overnight is like so difficult overnight shift like you like amazing you know like overnight is like you know you're against your circadian rhythm right so it's like super difficult overnight. 자, 여러분 오블라이슨 밤새서 일하는 직업이 굉장히 힘들어요, 여러분. 자, 밤새서 일하는 직업이 굉장히 힘듭니다. 자, 오블라이슨 하는 게 굉장히 어려워요. 오블라이트. 
Ah, ah, overnight, very difficult, right? 자, 밤새서 저렇게 하는 게 굉장히 쉽지가 않은데, 자, 여러분, 이렇게. 누구나 다 이렇게 될수 있습니다. 누구나 다, 누구나 다. Anyone can be like this. Anyone. 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 Then why don't you give your muscle a little bit of pleasure? <clears throat> why don't you give your muscle a little bit of pleasure? Right? If you want to get a paycheck, which is gain muscle, you need to work, correct? Which is exercise. An owl in the Christmas tree, a record-breaking Batman comic, and ranking cities by rodents. That's Frank Holland here with more so my, trending stories. So my, uh, my uh, portfolio is record high. Wait, don't why today. did you associate me with the rodent story last? Like you're like, like the rodent story. Frank Holland's here. But we're going to get to that in a second. Because of uh, uh, the Kessler. Owl story. The Rockefeller tree. So, every time record high, after a trip of 170 miles, that owl, now named Rockefeller, what else? I change my portfolio. But will instead be released on the grounds of the Ravensbury Wildlife Center upstate. So today I'm going to sell. You may not know this, I was a big comic collector as a kid. Sell. Batman comic has sold for a record high, I sell. A comic from 1939 featuring the record high, I sell. The most expensive comic ever, I don't mean ever sold in the auctions. Breaking the previously out record of 1.07. 사상 최고점이라 오늘 좀 팔아야 돼요. 저만의 그런 저만의 그냥 그겁니다. 현금 확보. So my protocol every time I go record high I sell. Were Washington D.C. and then San Francisco, which I believe the Bay Area is your hometown, Dom. What's not on here is my city, Philadelphia, often called Philadelphia, but not a city. So I think that might just be a mistake. It might just be because Philadelphia is not as big as any of those other cities, Frank. No, actually, it's the fourth biggest city in America. Hey, you are a bigger city than some of those other towns. The metropolitan area is a different thing. We're gonna have to. I'm very defensive about Philadelphia. You know, I know. I know that you are, and and we know that we watched your election coverage in parts of Pennsylvania during the last few weeks as well. Frank Holland, thank you very much. We appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir. All right, coming up on the show, investors have been on an emotional roller coaster ride this week. The promise of a vaccine threat. 我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的
그대여 아무 걱정하지 말아요 Yeah, you are exactly right. So today is my portfolio high day, so I'm gonna sell some. <laughs> If I miss... That right there is a live shot of Washington, D.C. in the Capitol building. Well, just yesterday we I'm not that greedy. That That's why I never like lost lots of money. This year, And 2018, I lose a lot of money because I'm not that reason. Record ones at those levels. Joining me now is Lindsay Bell, Chief Investment Strategist at Ally Invest. She is also a CNBC contributor. Good morning, Lindsay. Let's talk about whether or not these markets are worrying at all, or do we think they're constructive enough into 2021 to keep investing? Yeah, I mean, the last two weeks in general really have been choppy as far as market action goes. You know, we've had two Mondays in a row with really great news on the vaccines front where the market has popped. And then the rest of the week was But I don't choppy. sell my so Tesla stuff. I don't. Yesterday, obviously, the news on the stimulus from the Fed, between the Fed and the Treasury. I'm not selling my... Was, because I pay too much tax. If I sell my Tesla, I pay too much tax. And the increase in so I don't sell my Tesla. In stride this morning, given the action that we're seeing now, it can be a little bit of a confusing Tesla market. But if you look under the surface, at 그러니까 the action, you'll see that the small caps and big caps are going to be a little bit. So I don't buy and sell everything. I just make a little bit like adjustment, like an arc investment, like, you know, can't do they do every day, like a little bit of trading, right? So they don't buy. 100% or sell 100%, it's a little bit of change in portfolio, right? So that's what I try to do. Alright, so investors are optimistic, and we know some of the reasons why much of America is not as optimistic. They're worried about COVID-19, they're worried about the economy, they're worried about their stimulus checks. This is very much the K-shaped recovery. Stockholders are doing well because the markets are higher. Main Street America, not so much without stimulus from the government. How no does, that, does that play out in industries in no America problem. right now? Are we still going to see pressure on hospitality and leisure going forward? Meanwhile, mega cap tech continues to outperform. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that's likely to be the case is that the sectors that have struggled the most throughout this pandemic are going to continue to do that at least in the near term and those folks that work in those industries so today's my active rest so I don't know what I'm seeing unfortunately uh, which is why a stimulus bill active rest today is more important now than ever um, and, you know, we may not get it this year but hopefully we get it by the beginning of next year because these people uh, do need to make sure the consumer confidence stays strong so that we can Active sales rest. continue to rise. We do so today is my active rest, okay? Active rest. This is a rest. As much gunpowder left as rest. Is probably a month or so ago. So we want to see the government But step in here. Most of you, when action, you do this, uh, and push up and chin up, you will have a lot of muscle soreness and you can gain a lot of muscle for uh, sure, okay? For sure. All right, so we, we have some incremental certainty brought to not just look here, American. I'll tell you one guy, two guys, they only did body weight training, they gain a huge amount of muscle, like 20 pounds of muscle, new muscle bands in three months. Hi, everyone. Can you just listen? Really, a stimulus, a stimulus. Because for the last several months, we've been seeing the stimulus bills come in and the market continues to rise. Yeah, I think that's right. 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 I think that's All right. Economic activity remains. Again, thank you, Lomo. So in three months. All right, just about thirty seconds. One more. How how worried should investors be? Everybody said, "Oh, this guy, you know, uses steroids." In the coming years. This guy, okay. I mean, it's 
definitely going to be something that is on the watch list in the coming years, especially with the Biden administration. Uh, so I, I think that investors um, should keep an eye on it. I don't think it's going to be the first thing that a Biden administration is going to, to do, but it's something that uh, should be top of mind. All right. That's right. Possible. Sure. Okay. Thank so you very much for your thoughts. Never underrate your body weight training. Never. All right, that does it for us here on Worldwide Exchange. We have futures right now pointing to a very nice opening bell. Squawk box is coming up next. Let me think of all of that market coming. 체중으로 이용해서 하는 트레이닝 무시하지 마세요. Okay? Never underrate your body weight training. Never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever underrate your body weight training. Most of you, body weight is heavier than your uh, you know, whatever machine. 자, 여러분, 되게 많은 여러분들이 어, 체중을 이용해서 하는 게 훨씬 더 여러분들이 드는 기구 운동보다 훨씬 무겁게 들어요. 자, 무겁게 들으면 근육이 커질 확률이 높습니다. 10 set so far. 자, 여러분, 저는 지금 10 세트였어요, 10 세트. 200 push ups. And, you know, around 60, 70 chin ups. And about 250 squats so far. How many, it doesn't really matter, okay? How many, it doesn't really matter. What's the matter? So what's the matter? The matter is how hard you work or how consistently you work. Yeah. This guy, usually older than your age, okay? <laughs> Good morning. Stock futures are relatively calm after modest gains yesterday. The Dow now back on track for its best month since 1987. But we have a flurry of COVID news from a record number of daily cases to a disagreement over key treatment to states adding new restrictions. And the first coronavirus task force briefing since July. Plus, a high-profile disagreement between the Treasury Department and the Fed. Emergency lending programs now in jeopardy. Steve Wiesman's going to be here to tell us what it means for your money and the economy. It's Friday, November 20th, 2020. The squat box begins. Active rest. This is how you rest, okay? So I don't want you to play your own machine or Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Squat Box. This is CNBC, and it's Friday, and we're here for it. Friday. Don't forget your train. Don't ever forget your train. Come here, Lion. 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 Come
is sitting just at about 0.8%. Uh, well, Park Dong-hyun, good morning. Things that uh, the markets are going to be considering today, right now. Uh, Absolutely. In terms here. of uh, U.S. futures, it's so a big group from the uh, overnight the, the, the news we're about to discuss is that the Fed and the Treasury did change their policy significantly late yesterday after the close. And uh, uh, we're going to continue to make a positive surge into the close as well. Yeah. Back, back to sort of roughly five this morning is quite encouraging. Partly, of course, off the back of uh, strong gains in Europe, about 0.6% of gains as we speak in the European trade. Uh, as to that story, though, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has decided to allow several of the Fed's emergency lending programs to expire on December 31st. Yeah, that is a to bank stocks the financial system, but the Fed will still have powers in its power. Steve Leesman uh, joins us. Uh, Steve. Good morning, both. Yeah, after working closely together for much of this crisis, the Fed and the Treasury publicly parting ways yesterday with a surprise decision by Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin not to extend several of the Fed's emergency lending programs. In a letter that surprised the central bank, Mnuchin wrote to Fed Chair Jay Powell, quote, I am requesting that the Federal Reserve return the unused to the Treasury. Then, Chadongwo Bond markets, so to medium size when you try to several economists and business keep looking, all right, there's always you can do something in any condition. Maturely and unnecessarily ties the hands of the incoming administration. Oxford economics writing in the absence of this delayed decision to curtail the Fed's firepower could settle markets and exacerbate economic <sighs> strain and stress. The programs were little used, only just out $25 billion out so far, but they were credited with Coming financial markets for the pandemic sources. Now, CNBC, though, that the Fed could still have the ability to loan out some $750 billion, but any new lending now after December 31st requires approval from the Treasury Secretary, either this one or the next one. Will? Hey, Steve, just walk us through the yeah, thinking here. inside the Treasury. It walk us through the thinking of, of Steven Mnuchin and, and what the thought was inside the Treasury Department to do this because um, there's a lot of views and a lot of people describing lots of different motivations, some political, some others, uh, to this decision. Well, I think there's a charitable explanation and there's a less charitable explanation. Uh, the Treasury Secretary looks at uh, financial markets right now and sees that they're behaving rather well. Treasury Secretary looked at what he believed to be the intent of Congress. The Fed disagreed with that. Says that the, the, these programs are supposed to expire December 31st. So I'm going to follow the intent of Congress. Uh, the less charitable explanation is that uh, by taking this money away, he gives us responsibility to the incoming administration to change these programs and perhaps loan more money out into the economy. One more thing, which is that, as I said, under a new agreement with the Fed, but uh, there is considerable lending power on the part of the central bank. That said, it requires a new agreement with the Treasury Secretary. What would you think that? Well, it would be perhaps a new financial panic. The Fed was like, well, you know, let's not wait till a new financial panic happens uh, to put these programs back into place. Let's leave them up and running. Install this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Really Happy Friday. And as they're the Monday to Friday, the, the first is the idea yeah. that if you have these programs, Friday you know, morning like workout. Allison said, back in the financial uh, crisis, if you've got it, you in your pocket, and everybody knows okay. it, you don't always have to use it. And it also gets to the point of good morning, secretary. Hey, good morning. What's up? Where are you? Because we know that. Uh, are you a uh, North America or? Where are you? All sides of this debate, all sides of this party. <laughs> I don't think you are like a North America uh, because it's 6 a.m. But the progressives have said they so don't want anybody with any Wall Street experience in there. So and here in Toronto, really understand markets. Morning workout every single day. Who doesn't understand how every the markets start to react in a time of panic? 
and given where we're headed with this country, with the Morning COVID cases that are out there, with the potential so today's my for the government shutdowns, or the potential for consumers just to decide that they don't so want do to go my, out, uh, and they don't want to go to stores, and they don't want to go to restaurants, what that will mean potentially squad. for the markets in the meantime. And, and that was a stabilizing uh, force. Right. You need somebody, you need these programs there, and you need a Treasury Secretary who understands the markets and has some experience. Yeah, that's well, I mean, okay. that's a really that's cogent analysis of the situation, Becky. And let me uh, try to pick so, that apart just a bit. Uh, in the first instance, uh, okay. I expect the Treasury Secretary will be appointed. How can I we'll pronounce know about name? markets. There's plenty of, uh, uh, of people out there. I don't like you. It sounds like you're European, right? Who share that concern. And I don't think All right. that we're going to that issue, especially not right now in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, there's, there's, there's a stable uh, of people who have been taking that job. Europe is the between us. Europe is the between us. Europe. They have to rest. Is the person who would understand markets. They have to rest. They have to rest. In addition, I, I think it's probably not crazy to believe that on January 21st, there's this $50 billion pot of money. Some people say it's a $70 billion. I count it as 50 We can debate that one. It puts $20 million among friends. Anyway. There's $50 billion of money in a thing called the Exchange Stabilization Fund. On January 21st, if the incoming administration believes it's the right call, the Treasury Secretary, the new one, could call up Powell and say, let's restart these programs with $50 billion that if you let the rest of the one, YouTube, live. there's the possibility of $500 billion of lending if yeah, it's needed. that's right. The only question about that is this 20-day period between the end of the programs and the new administration taking office where those programs will not exist. But people I've spoken to in the market, some uh, high-level yeah. financial uh, uh, people in the market, high-level bankers, they uh, say the market every doesn't single day. care if they don't exist. They and just every want single day. the possibility that they could exist, uh, and that does still exist. Steve, uh, late last yeah. time when you broke this news with us, uh, clearly markets... So anyone can be like that. Anyone, okay? So anyone. Just trying to get anyone why they might have recovered. It's not because people anyone think can be like that change, right? It's just that they've got a little bit more comfortable, perhaps that it's not as negative, uh, perhaps immediately for, for markets. And, and with that uh, in, in mind, I, I was wondering whether you think this perhaps influences the likelihood that the Fed takes different action at the next Fed meeting, like a little bit more QE and uh, extending the maturities of what it's buying, or, or are those two quite separate issues? <sighs> Yeah, th those are those are two great issues. Um, you know, I don't want to uh, uh, toot my own horn here, but at about nine o'clock last night, I don't know when the futures were covered. I was able to file a story that explained that the Fed still had considerable lending power with a new agreement with the Fed. I don't know. There are lots of reasons why global markets could turn around, but uh, you know, maybe the understanding that that money is still out there to be loaned with a new agreement is something that calms the market. I think the Treasury. Uh, miscommunicated or, or badly communicated ah. that the way it did the way it did it. That's one thing. and yes it is oh. possible Wolf I think that the Fed may end up doing more depending uh. on as you suggest how markets uh. react remember these are oh. designed to calm markets uh. and on one hand on the other hand they're designed uh. to infuse money into the economy that second bit wasn't working that great well so I'm not sure that Mnuchin is so totally you can visit my YouTube story. all right they could have worked with the Fed to make the better, but remember, just twenty five million has been loaned out. I think the big loser here is this Main Street lending facility. Damn. They had just altered the terms of it that allowed for much mm. smaller loans. That thing could ramp damn, up. Damn, that puts damn. real money into the economy. If you ask my opinion, I think the Treasury Secretary makes a mistake there by ending that program. Huh? discussion that we were having the other day uh, just to, I know you've been uh, dogging this down for, for days and days trying to figure out if the program ends how complicated it is to restart those programs if they, all of these lending uh, programs is it as simple as the next uh, Treasury secretary coming in and saying okay, uh, the program. I, uh, it wouldn't happen on January 20th, 20th anyway because there's not a, a Treasury actually I don't measure <laughs> I don't really but measure it now. But my, but I can guess. I eat in between the current the grams is saying right now this was not to, to 100 this. and it throws the whole like 80 back grams in between. Like Someday I eat more protein. Someday less protein. 
자 여러분 저는 지금 단백질을 100g에서 180g 정도로 한번 보고 있습니다. So, I don't really care about how much protein I eat. Right now, I care about how much water I drink, how much vegetable I eat. That's my most concern. Usually, protein is not an issue. Yeah, the Fed knows they can be restarted. They certainly would prefer, from an administrative point of view, not to close them down and have to restart the brain. You're out there right now, for example, the Boston Fed. 단백질 부족해서 근육을 못 만든 경우는 거의 없습니다. 페이스북이라이브다. That Facebook with the agreement between the Treasury Secretary and the Federal that. Reserve Board, they could restart these programs. Is it optimal? Probably not. Can it Facebook be done? Life. Absolutely. What would precipitate it? Well, hopefully not a new shock to the financial Facebook system, life. which is why the Fed wanted this stuff to continue. Steve, sadly, we have to call an end to the Steve Leesman block of uh, of Scorebox, but it was it was very. I apologize very for taking so much. Ah. Uh. Keep going, but I know we're going to be seeing you again later. I'm not a bodybuilder, okay? I'm not a bodybuilder. See, thank you. Good morning, I'm not a bodybuilder, okay? I'm not. So I don't feel like that. Uh, I want to be healthy. healthy, and healthy and healthy, that's it, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank
That's CDC advising. So U.S. law case. Not to travel for Thanksgiving's holiday. Thanksgiving holiday, no Obama's travel. Said they were especially concerned about transportation hubs and people waiting in line to board planes and buses. They are urging, uh. people, urging people to celebrate the holiday only with the people who have been living in your household for 14 days. That would exclude college students, even members of your family that are college students, and military who had planned to come home. And yesterday, California Governor Gavin Newsom issuing a new Anyone can be like that. Anyone. Between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. Uh, so not performing essential activities. The move is aimed at stopping private parties and gatherings. The state's health secretary said that people Pardon? in the late night high risk uh, risk spreading the virus to people. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm curious your body, drugs. like what's your body composition? Against COVID, the so you, House, you eat? Having its first uh, task force, <laughs> public task force meeting. Uh, Three gram per body weight, like oh my god! About this world. Oh my, my god! Uh, so if you don't take uh, anabolic steroids, uh, you cannot naturally. <laughs> okay. Build a lot of muscle. And even then, uh, to say just because you said, intake uh, a lot of, in part because of the consume a lot of, you know, uh, amino acid. And, and and what's happening across this country? You try. Point five to one gram per body weight. You try. So they continue to grapple with the rise in coronavirus cases. Let's bring in. You must be a far smell terrible. Chief Investment Officer of Odyssey Capital Advisors, Jason. Thanks. Far smell terrible. Clearly, November's been right. Uh, for markets in the face of these you know i'm going to kill your healthy uh, microbiome okay <laughs> so. level more lockdowns might be coming like we've seen in new york like we've seen uh, in various states Pro you like just the pooping expensive poop okay have also been very very strong of late because so, uh, our market's just going to keep looking forward to your protein why don't you eat more veggie okay rising cases Good to be with you all. Um, you know, first off, you know, I, I think it's been very concerning. Obviously, I just saw the news this morning: 185,000 new cases as reported yesterday is very concerning. You know, and then, and then on the other side of the coin, you know, the efficacy of, of the recent trials with Pfizer, Call very, your you know, protein, eat more you know, veggie. Positive, you know, but what I will say is maybe um, should the be. Markets have kind of been pushing and pulling be. between and grappling between the two issues. Yeah, Un, you, know, you I, said I, you are you half Korean, right? You know, we're, we're Unless we're you are Inuit um, or you, you know, born Mongolia or Pima Indian, you don't have that much genetic to uh, you know, some point, maybe consume maybe lots of protein, okay? Week. You know, but but I think those, those are the things that the market is still trying to figure out, and for for sure we are focused. Don't worry about protein, protein so much. Protein, you know, so mm -hmm. I do think they have to start name to some of the value. Protein, uh, you just hey, protein usually meat. And so chicken, Jason, by this, uh, more calorie than vegetable, okay? Or, or do you think a lot of people uh, issue is too much fat. In order to lose too much fat, you need to decrease calorie consumption. You know, and managing the prices this far. You know, and when you think when the when the buying is going to be, you know, early January, you know, look at this and kind of see what liquidity needs to happen there. Calorie가 약식이가 많습니다. You know, but, uh, okay, so, general so, general so, so general population, I think. Yeah, so Walmart. You based know, on my, really okay. Based on my work, all right. Year tons of research. Uh, employer in America. High vegetable, low medium protein, low. But, you know, to medium carb, low to, to medium grow, fat diet you know, is the best for a lot of people. There's no, the you don't need to consume high fat also, diet, you know, high protein diet. Well, far, you don't. Oh my goodness, are you like, PayPal. are you bodybuilder? I'm curious your body composition, I'm really curious your body composition, how much muscle mass you have, you are consuming like protein so much, it's really bad for you, okay, unless you use it. Um, took an opportunity to add some additional capital there. 
I do think. How do you guys ask for that? You know, PayPal, Jimmy, the bro, payment volume. You guys ask for that? You know, payment volume is up 38% year over year. So, you know, great name to be in. And again, you know, I, I like the industry as a whole, period. Jason Snipe, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Okay. So much more coming up uh, right here on Squawk Box in just a moment. We've got some good news to tell you about a tie-up between two iconic brands in online news. We'll tell you all about it next. And as we head to that break, take a look at this morning's biggest pre-market gainers on the S&P 500. How did you measure it? What's your height? Earnings falling short. That stock up. How did you measure it? Texas skin or how did you measure it? <laughs> How did you measure Texas skin or what? Six foot one, okay. Six one, okay. Six one, okay. How did you measure? Huh? How did you measure? How did you measure? Hmm? <clears throat> How did you measure? Five minutes up training now. <clears throat> How did you measure? Six one. I'm five nine and a half. So six one. How did you measure? How did you measure? Ah, okay. How did you, how did you measure it? How, 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 how did you measure it? Which company? Which company? Like, Imbari or, but like which company? So I'm going to do five minutes of training. 6.24, okay. All right. Uh, how did you measure? GTG. Never heard of that. Uh, anyway, so what's your body fat? What's your body fat and your weight? What's your body fat? What's your body fat? Six one. What's your weight and your body fat? Uh, uh, 10.3, okay, pretty good. And then, uh, what's your weight? 10.3. 80 kilo, okay. Okay, so 80 kilo, 240 gram protein, 10% body fat, I think it's way too much. Way too much.
try to cut your protein 50% you see how much muscle man you can hold it you're gonna exactly hold the same muscle mass okay so Ah, 여러분. 자, 운동이 거의 다 끝났어요. Thank God it's Friday. Friday. Friday don't consume too much protein. 여러분, 단백질이 여러분 근육을 만들어 주는 게 아닙니다. 운동을 하고 그 근육이 손상됐을 때 단백질이 섭취돼서 네, 여러분 근육을 만드는 거예요. 자, 오케이, 오케이. Don't worry about protein so much. Let's focus on eating vegetable and training regularly. 자, 자 여러분 우리 여러분들 이 굉장히 많은 여러분들이 단백질 파우더 먹을 돈으로 야채를 사 오이 사 드시고요. 운동을 헬스장 다닐 거로 집에서 열심히 하시면 여러분들 대부분 몸이, 몸이 좋아질 겁니다. 제가 봤을 때 90% 이상은 단백질 파우더 먹을 돈으로 신선한 야채 사 먹고 그 다음에 헬스장에 돈 갔다가 안갈 돈으로 그냥 뭐야 운동복 하나 사 갖고 <웃음> 푸시업이랑 턱걸이 그런 거 하시면 훨씬 더 몸이 좋아질 거예요. So, what do you think, Tom? Okay. Ah, Friday workout done. Active rest done today. So tomorrow I will do my hypertrophy program, okay? I will do it. 자, 여러분, 저, 내일은 여러분 같이 기구 운동을 하도록 하겠습니다. 제가 오늘은 어, 몸에 알도 많이 먹었고 네, 여러분 아, 손목도 아프고 그래서 체중을 이용해 했어요. 내일은 다시 또 빡세게 운동을 하도록 하겠습니다. So thanks for watching today. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And a good for trainer like you. 어? 어? Most of people you become healthy when you go outside instead of go to gym, okay? Most people, most people, you go to gym because you need a special equipment. Most people, you don't need special equipment. You just need a body weight. Okay? Kangaroo body weight training, lot of muscle. Monkey, gorilla body weight training, lot of muscle. You go to gym because you need a special equipment or you weather too cold or too hot. So go out. Enjoy your outdoor activity. You already pay for it. You in, include your tax. So, all right. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Now I'm going to do my online lesson to make a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm doing my online coaching session to make a lot of money. Six pack apps here, a little bit. Okay, you will see clearly. 안녕, 내일 뵙겠습니다. I see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.